contemplating the heart of Jesus together at the beginning of this Holy Week. And Mother Church is preparing us by this contemplation into the sacred heart of Jesus. It's a human heart, divine and human, both, but with human affections, emotions. That's why we, he says, Jesus was deeply troubled. All this conversation that we have just heard comes from the heart, the sacred heart of Jesus, that is deeply disturbed, deeply troubled, very, very sad. That's something that we have to realize. It's very sad. Why? Because of betrayal, because of our own self-destruction, self-isolation from him. Going away from the vine, without me you can do nothing. That is the source of his sadness our infidelity, our betrayal. Why is it so powerful? Why, why can we make God so sad and we are not being faithful to a pact, to a covenant that maybe we didn't ask to get into? Like, I didn't ask to be part of this friendship. I didn't ask to have to like, commit to this pact, right? Uh, but then there comes the mystery. Like, we have been loved and chosen before we really we, we came into existence and before we realized it because we, before we were, we were conscious about it the gift we come into life and gradually we start realizing that we are in a covenant of love that we are inside another heart and we are, can never be detached from that space of love that is a mystery of our faith we are right now becoming more and more aware that we are not alone, that whatever we do with ourselves, with our freedom, affects, impacts deeply to the heart of God, the heart of Jesus. And we see that in Jesus Christ. How much can we affect Him? But at the same time, we should not stay only in that, but how much can we make Him happy? Can we console Him? That's so powerful. If we remain in His friendship. Because in this moment of the Last Supper, the atmosphere of friendship, of affection is very powerful. They are like the, the beloved son is the one who is communicating and he is lying and resting in the chest of Jesus. And Jesus is dipping the food and, and giving it to each other and saying, I give you my body, my life, my heart. So we have to breathe in that atmosphere of, of, of friendship from Jesus. And only in that context we will realize the depth and, and the drama of our sin which is something that we should face in this week. We should face the power, the dark power of, of, of sin, of betrayal. Both the richness of the friendship and, and both and, and the drama of sin. Just one last thing. When Judas uh, left the place, the, the upper room, says the enemy got in. Because Jesus explicitly revealed that you were the one who was going to betray me and, and and in, instead of, of Judas repenting in that moment and saying, like, in the, in the face of light, of evidence, changing his heart, he got angry. He got upset because he was revealed. And the enemy entered. That's an interpretation I heard from a theologian. That is, you got, Jesus was bringing light to, to bring the opportunity of repentance, of coming back, but he decided to be upset in the face of that love and that friendship. 